Today I'll be introducing to you the submetering system that you have on your particular property. The AMCO C700 Insider R water meter with an integral radio frequency transmitter and the Innovonix tap watch read system. The AMCO C700 Insider R meter is a brass bodied multi jet meter which is installed in each apartment unit of your property. The meter measures cold water in U.S. gallons and can be installed to capture the total flow into the apartment unit, which is called total capture, or it may be installed on a cold water inlet in the unit's water heater, which is called hot water allocation. Either type of installation will only affect how the usage is calculated for billing purposes, and no adjustment to the meter is necessary. The primary features of the meter are the brass body, with brass couplings. The register head, which includes the face of the meter, which includes the sweep hand and low flow indicator. The odometer register here and the battery compartment and reset switch located here. The brass body portion handles all water flow. No water ever enters the register head. The flow of the water is what causes the meter to spin and spins a diaphragm positioned like a pancake here, which spins as the water flows through the body. There's a magnet on the inside that's in that diaphragm, and as the water flows through the meter, the diaphragm spins, spinning the magnet, which turns the hands on the register. The couplings are adapters, which allows you to install it into the plumbing system, onto your pipes. Couplings also feature a washer, which is very important, in that it prohibits leaks. This washer is available through Argen or through the manufacturer and it's also very similar to a washer that you'd find on a garden hose if you have those at your hardware store. On the face of the meter we see a sweep hand. This registers 10 gallon revolutions. When the sweep hand goes around that's 10 gallons. That 10 gallons will show up here on the odometer register. Here we have a painted zero, which is always there of course, and we have the number that revolves. This particular one says three. That means that this sweep hand has gone around at least three times. If each revolution is 10 gallons, then we see a three zero here. That means 30 gallons have passed through this meter. The low flow indicator spins as even the tiniest amount of water flows through the meter. This is exceptionally helpful when checking for leaks. When all the fixtures are in the off position, this should be absolutely stationary. The battery compartment located here features a pry off lid which exposes a three volt battery. This is a standard battery available at any hardware store or available also through Argen. The battery does not power the meter. There is no power to the meter. It only registers water flow. This is for the wireless RF transmitter located within the register head that transmits the read to the data collector on site. It, again, it does not power the meter or the register in any way. It only transmits the read. On top is located a small hole right above the battery. It's a reset switch. And when pressed, a red indicator light will shine here. This indicates that the battery has power. It also allows the unit to send a special transmission with encoded data within the register head. This is powerful to let us know that the meter is functioning properly, that the battery is working properly, and that this is the meter that is assigned to that particular unit. The meters transmit to an Innovonix data collector located in the office. This data collector hangs maybe in the office or maybe in the maintenance shed or in the clubhouse. It has a hard drive located here and underneath this cover, which is removable, is located a circuit board which has a power connection which goes to the power outlet within the room, a phone connection which runs to a phone jack with a dedicated phone number within the room, and other connections that are associated with antenna hardware that I'll show you.